Hello and welcome to this video in which we speak about uh, vegetation index. That are some uh, some tools, uh, some uh, elaboration that allow us to identify some parameters concerning how many vegetation is available is present in a given point. Basically, they will deal with the red and near infrared band. It means for Landsat 8 band 5, the near infrared, and band 4, the red. So basically, I can use or band in a separated way, as you can download, or you can also create your own uh, uh, RGB image. Let's say, let's have a look how it works. From here, I click on Rustle Dataset. Here, create layer multifile. I can also open in memory. I accept. I just add the band I need, for example, 5, 4, 3. Open. Let's create a composition I usually uh, use for vegetation. Let's say near infrared, red, and blue. Build files. It will take a few. Okay. Yes, I want to load. Then now it will appear black usually. Here it is. So what I can do? Right click, Raster properties, then go on enhance, remove edges, clipping tail. Let's remove the 3%, let's say. Apply, accept. Here it is. Usually, let's say the dark red means uh, needle leaves, coniferous. Uh, while, uh, let's say, the light red are, let's say, agriculture or bird leaves. So then I can also, let's say, rename to be sure that I remember what it is. Let's say RGB543. Okay, here it is. So now let's try to calculate our vegetation indexes. How, where I can find them? They are in tools, geoprocessing toolbox or directly on this icon here. This is his toolbox that will uh, contain a lot of uh, tools, let's say how many geogorithms around 355, we'll see them later in other also videos. So then the last one you see it's uh, vegetation indices. Let's click on it. You see this is the vegetation available, vegetation indices on the list. Uh, maybe I don't know all of them, so if I don't know, I can click on them, double click. You see there is the eye of information. And here I have a short description on how the parameter works. The most famous is for sure the NDVI, that is a normalized difference vegetation index, it is a value that consider as that one the near infrared and the red as it was before, and uh, basically it is a value that ranges from minus one to plus one. So how it works? I select here the red layer that can be or band four, in this case you see it's only one band because it's grayscale, or I select RGB, in this case it is band two because it means it's channel four. In this case, when I select near infrared, I select only always the same image, and this case is band one. In case I want the single band, it will be band four, and here it will be band five. Remember that usually uh, the band should have the same extension and the same spatial resolution. So do not mix different band from uh, let's say different resolution. Usually the output region I keep fit to input layers, but let's say I can also clip the output using the XM from the view or from an existing layer that is a smaller one. For sure you cannot use a larger layer to clip your output file. So then you click or temporary file or just browse and create a new layer. I usually I prefer to save as temporary. And then I will, if, if I am satisfied of the result, I will save as a new file. So I have already uh, provided the result, otherwise it takes time. Because remember that the bigger is the image, 
the uh, more time it takes usually it's not so long but I've already performed and you see here it is the result and DVI let's remove it and you see it is a grayscale image and uh, it is a grayscale image but the the lighter one will mean higher vegetation sorry denser vegetation so it doesn't give you an idea of which kind of vegetation it is it just means that there is more vegetation in the lighter part than in the darker part if you want to see the values let's see here you see that here the band is 004 and means that there is vegetation more than in other parts is negative one so you see this is a negative value usually where this negative value means a low content in vegetation while the higher value is high content vegetation usually except if you are let's say the tropical forest the values will never reach one but let's say the higher they are the more vegetation it is you see on the contrary for sure here the rgb it's uh, stretched it's enhanced so it uh, ranges from a zero it means black to 255 so do not uh, confuse between these two values this is the real values of the band let's say ranging from minus one to plus one what here is the value that uh, the computer uses to visualize the data so you see for example here it is uh, 006 and 169 you see here for example where there is some vegetation maybe around the coastline here you have some lighter and so some density of vegetation that can be reasonable for let's say coastal vegetation in the same way you can use the other uh, toolbox of vegetation let's say the TVI is the same uh, let's say the same procedure you have just if you want some more information click the information and you see always there is the near infrared and the red it means uh, basically the what we have used before but plus 0, 05 and you have you see there is uh, index is computed according to the following formula and it's exactly the same just to give you an idea of uh, the different result this is the TVI let's move the other one it is you see it's always the same procedure this the more or less the same kind of result that where there is the the higher value it means there is more vegetation and you see the darker part is with less vegetation so basically there are uh, different parameters different uh, um, formula providing you with different result but you see there are always grayscale image the result so you can use if you have different uh, uh, let's say needs uh, you see in this case for example is quite different so you can just go and check what is an RBI but basically all the vegetation index are here and for all of them let's say an RBI you can double click and have the information you see that this normalized ratio vegetation index and it, a modification of the ratio vegetation index so this is the formula and uh, so uh, remember that all of these uh, uh, vegeta uh, vegetation index will provide a grayscale layer so then it's up to you to your needs uh, to choose one of the other considering that considering that basically the most used one uh, among forester is the normalized difference vegetation index this is, let's say also the more common and then in next uh, videos I will show as well how to reclassify let's say how to convert visual convert a grayscale into some uh, color scale with a different color and different class according also to vegetation cover thank you so much